Welcome to video three. Today I'm introducing the video on top of Housey Crags. Got Cheviot and Hedgerow in the distance. Langley Crags over there, which is where we're heading today. So we'll be going to Langley Crags, Brands Corner, crossing the valley through Kerry Burn and up Hell's Path back to Woola and you will have completed the Chevy Chase. So here we go, Recky 3, let's do it. Uphill. This is where we left you on video two and you will arrive here. This is Long Crags and you are going to take the gate post on the right heading for Langley Crags. At the back of Long Crags you've got multiple options here. Our team are going to take multiple options to see which is the best one. I'm going to follow Steve in the middle because he's done this race many times and apparently this is the original Chevy path. So I'm going to take that one. Lee and Mary is going to the right. Glenn and James are going to the left. Let's see which one gets there first. So we've managed to find a path through all of these tufts of grass, and, oh, they're quite firm. Uh, but it looks to me like the path that Lee and Mary took to the right is faster because they haven't had to deal with these big tufts of grass. So I think that's the one I'll be selecting on race day. So we are arriving at the Langley Crags checkpoint now. If you look behind there, you can very possibly see you've got a number of different route options to get here from Housey Crags and Long Crags and I've got a wealth of experience here with me today and they all prefer different routes so I think it's going to be kind of up to yourself on the day but this is where you're heading for Langley Crags. So this is where your checkpoint will be, right on the crags here. Somebody's uh, having a little camp here tonight. Look at that introduction, Mori. You've been learning from the best. Just after the crags, guys, you're gonna come to a little fork. We are gonna aim to get under that track down there, but the, the suggesting that we keep the height by taking the right hand fork. So we're still aiming for that major path, but it's a little bit of a little bit of a local trick I suppose. So a uh, little tip for you there. So at the end of this major path you're gonna turn left down here. So there you go. Cheviot, hedge up, there's the crags that we just came from, you've got a very long straight path that we're on now, going towards Brand's Corner, mysterious Brand's Corner. So this path is basically just following the line of the Hot Hope Valley which is down there, that is Cold Law, right there. Okay, then everybody, so as I've said, you're on this high level path that runs adjacent to the Hart Oak Valley. It's quite a straight, long path, and you could switch off, and you could miss this right-hand turn that's coming up for Brand's Corner. It's a little post, 
with a yellow marker on it. I'll show you it as we arrive. Okay, we're arriving at the right turn now. Here it is. Do not go straight on, turn right. Your right turn is there. The next turn is only about 100 yards away from it. Little gate post, and you're gonna turn left here, heading towards Brands Corner. So we've come to a fence, and we are gonna stay this side of the fence and run up this way. The, the jury's out on which side of the fence we should be gone. But this is Brand's Corner. This is where the final checkpoint will be before we get to Hell's Path. So, here it is. Right, we've taken a left at the Brand's Corner gate post and we're just following this dry stone wall all the way along. So, left at Brand's Corner. Stone wall section was very easy to navigate, just follow the wall all the way down to the, nearly the bottom of the valley. Then you're going to turn left, and I can hear the river below me. You're going to follow this little path through these bushes, and we're heading towards the Carey Burn Bridge. So here we are arriving at the crossing for the river. Carryburn Bridge is right in front of us. We're going to go and see that beautiful waterfall. Right, here's your Carryburn Bridge, and this is where you are going to turn left to this little footpath sign here. <laughs> right, we're now in the Carryburn section. Another very easy nav uh, to navigate path. Can't go wrong. Just follow through the valley, you'll eventually come to a waterfall and then you'll turn right up Hell's Path. That is where your last checkpoint is going to be before the finish. As you can see you get a quite high up here. I wouldn't say it was treacherous, it's not treacherous, but it's very loose rocks. It's kind of cut into the side of the hill. Pretty uh Pretty exciting thing to walk on, really. Lush. Just gonna follow Lee for a little bit, show you what the terrain is like. Whoa! Now he fell over. That would have been good. So here we are, this is where you're going to arrive, this is the waterfall at Kerryburn. Awesome. Right then, so after you come along the Kerryburn for about a mile, you will come to the final checkpoint which is here just before Hell's Path you can't miss it, it's going to be right in this corner where that yellow sign is and then you've got your final climb up the Wooler back to where we started there you go to the top of Hell's Path to get treated to that view back down the Carey Burn Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by local legend of the Chevy Chase, Mr. Bruce Crombie. Hello. Former winner. Any tips, Bruce, about the Chevy Chase? You'd like to give anybody? Yeah. <laughs> I have got loads. But first and foremost, but if you're going out for a great time, you hit it, you hit it go off for it, as if you mean it, and then let the back end take care of itself because it's a lot easier but if you're just going out to do it I would walk as many hills as you can because with that back end where it's easy you'll have something left to run it in so it's really it depends what your aim is I would always uh, walk the hills if you just want to get through it you will have plenty of time 
Are you running this year, Bruce? I am, man. Just reminding me I need to get a page before I run too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you on the day. Aye. And good luck for your race. Just got quite a nice view of this cottage here as we're coming down the path. You are going to head to the left of that cottage and sort of head for those um, flag posts that are sticking out in the middle of the field. That's the direction you're heading down towards the duck ponds. Okay, we're just heading now down to the duck ponds. You can see them through the break in the trees. Then we'll be on the main road down into Woola and you will have finished the Chevy Chase all 20 gruelling miles of it okay so as you make your way down the main road from the duck ponds into Woola town you are going to make a sharp right turn we are on Ramsey's Lane now there's a little signpost coming up on the right just in this little break here look there's a sign Ramsey's Lane Common Road hang a right and we're going up this little track this is the final bit ladies and gentlemen and when you get to the end of this path you take another sharp left and you're there this is it guys the final destination, the finish line of the Chevy Chase. Wow, it's empty now, but it'll be full of people in a few weeks' time. Oh. Okay, everybody, so that's the end of Recce 3 and the end of this little series of videos looking at the Chevy Chase. Hope you've enjoyed them. I've learned a lot learning these new routes and uh, thanks to Glenn McWilliams for organising all of these recce's and thanks to the different runners that have turned up to join us on these little mini adventures. I hope you've enjoyed it at home and we'll see you all next time.